Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into an important topic that affects millions of women worldwide, polycystic ovary syndrome. Let's start by talking about the ovaries. Ovaries are two small, almond-shaped organs located on each side of the uterus. Their main job is to produce and release eggs during a woman's monthly cycle, a process known as ovulation. Along with this, they produce hormones like estrogen and progesterone, which regulate the normal menstrual cycle and fertility. Now, what exactly is PCOS? As the name states, it is polycystic ovary syndrome which is a hormonal disorder. In PCOS, the ovaries develop numerous small, fluid-filled sacs known as cysts. Now, let's talk about some of the common symptoms of this disease. These include irregular or complete absence of periods, hyperandrogenism in which level of male hormones increase and women experience hirsutism, acne, alopecia, with this it also causes obesity and insulin resistance. So how does PCOS start? The signaling between brain and ovaries is disrupted, under normal conditions brain produces hormones like follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, which promote the growth and maturation of one dominant follicle leading to ovulation. While in PCOS, brain starts producing too much LH and ovaries start producing testosterone. Due to the insufficient levels of FSH and the excess of LH and androgens, many follicles begin to grow but none of them mature enough to release an egg and ovulation does not occur. Instead, the partially developed follicles stop growing and remain in the ovaries as small cysts. Each cyst is filled with fluid and contains an undeveloped egg that did not undergo ovulation. PCOS can be cured. One of the most effective ways is through proper nutrition and lifestyle changes. Many women with PCOS have insulin resistance which means they have high blood glucose level. Losing weight can improve insulin sensitivity. Also weight reduction can lead to a decrease in androgens that are responsible for unwanted symptoms. It is said that losing weight, even as little as 5 to 10 percent of body weight, can help restore hormonal balance, leading to regular ovulation and more consistent menstrual cycles. In the next video we will discuss diet for PCOS and seed cycling in detail, so stay tuned.